Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. The latest version of the Android Wear SDK is now available with several watch face related enhancements. Details and screenshots are on the post, linked in the description below. TensorFlow 1.5 is now available. Updates include eager execution for TensorFlow, now available as a preview, the developer preview of TensorFlow Lite built in, GPU acceleration updates, documentation site updates, and more. Further details and the install command are on the post. We're hosting another Google Developer Day at this year's Game Developers Conference on Monday, March 19th. Join us for a few sessions focused on innovation and new platforms, pre-launch best practices, and strategies to improve performance post-launch. Sign-up links are on the post. We're making it easier for you to develop and publish Gmail add-ons domain-wide to give your users access to tools directly in their inbox. You can now publish Gmail add-ons to users in your G Suite domain, install Gmail add-ons for G Suite accounts before they're published, and more. Doc links are on the post. The content on golang.org is now available in mainland China through golang.google.cn. All of you who are a part of the growing Go developer community in China can now directly access official documentation, technical articles, and binaries. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. If you'd like to catch some of our prior episodes, they're right over here. <laughs>